not very popular to be anointed because most people don't want to pay a price for being anointed. Well, what I would like to talk about tonight is how entertainment versus anointing. We know that the day that we're living in, and it's mainly because of technology, everybody is living in the wow now. Mm -hmm. They're living in the wow and they're not living in the now. It's not very popular to be anointed because most people don't want to pay a price for being anointed. And there is a price for it. And I heard uh, the young man, I think his last name is Elliot. He was speaking about people that have formal education and and those that are gifted to play that do not have formal education. I, and I'd like to share with you that one day, years, a few years back, God shared with me that you can be certified, but when it comes to God, you may not be qualified. <laughs> All right. So there's a difference in being certified and qualified. And you can be both. But the musician has to know that God has called them to do. And when God calls you to something, he qualifies you for it. Therefore, your character, your integrity, your personality, the way you carry yourself, the way you deal with people, the way you portray yourself, it's your character that keeps you in the room, not your gift. Mm -hmm. So the day that we're living in now, entertainment seems to be the going cargo of today. And those that are anointed are basically <laughs> over because of politics. And when politics are involved, there is no spiritual leading, no spiritual guidance. And if there is some spiritual guidance that tries to come in, you always have someone in the political position that can override what God is saying. But God has raised up those of us that have yielded our lives to the Lord. He's raising us up in this last day to conquer and divide the wheat from the tares musically. And entertainment is one way. You can you can go to a concert and if there are choirs, choirs and concert, you can tell which choir is entertaining and which choir is are anointed. Because when you're entertained, your emotions are tickled. But when someone is anointed, your spirit is affected. And this is where the enemy is coming in. Now, he don't want our spirits to be affected to turn our hearts towards God. He just wants us to get excited about a moment. I just shared with someone a couple of days ago, don't let your life depend on a moment because you can make a decision for a moment that will cause you to pay for it for a lifetime. I want to talk about this is part of being anointed. Accountability is the fact of condition of being responsible. How many musicians we find that are responsible with or without a check? I know I can't get no amens right now. Amen, amen. <laughs> We're still here. To God, yes. <laughs> To God, there is nothing in all creation is hidden from God. Everything is naked and exposed before his eyes. And he is the one to whom we are accountable. We are accountable towards people in their positions, but God is the ultimate one that we are accountable for. Why? Because we don't serve to be seen. We serve from our heart and our spirit. Whether we accept it or not, the Bible is clear that we are all accountable to God, and since nothing is hidden from him, we will have to give an accurate account of what we do and the way we do it. And that can be found in Hebrews, the fourth chapter, the 13th to the 16th verse. We 
are accountable to each other. Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, he which are spiritual restores such a one in the spirit of meekness, not in the spirit of social media, not in the spirit of slander, but in the spirit of meekness. Considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. Galatians 6 and 1. People now are being guided by their flesh. And I say that because people are looking to be men pleasers and not God pleasers. When it comes to music, when it comes to musicianship, um, there should be a bar that's raised high for people to look up to. Even when it comes to your music ministries, your, at your various churches, don't allow entertainment to supersede your anointing. It's very important that we keep and stay focused. And focus is the center of interest or activity. Carefully guard your thoughts because they are the source of true life. Prayer is most essential. A solemn request for help or expression of thanks addressed to God. Watch and pray may not enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. This is one link that a lot of us are short in as our prayer life. We want to develop our prayer life to experience the fullness that God has for us in the day that we live and in our generation. We must pray and not, uh, the scripture said pray and not faint, but we must learn to pray. We don't have to always be in our knees, but pray in our spirit, even during the course of the day. There are a lot of musicians um, that are prayerful. Some of them are intercessors. Um, a lot of them are spiritually awakening. And then, you know, they need to really build their prayer life. I want to share a couple more things about musicianship. Now, a lot of people believe they realize what they feel. A lot of musicians fail to realize that your attire speaks and shows who you are, the way you dress, the way you look, your code of ethics, moral principles that governs a person's behavior or the conduct of an activity. Excuse me. A few of the greatest challenges with musicians today is entertainment versus anointing, following leadership, prayer life and Bible study, production and service, and interaction with the local assembly. Now, you don't have to be friends with everyone in the congregation, but you do need to show your interaction with people and how you deal with people. This develop your people skills. Um, we must realize that those that we serve, our local assemblies, they don't see us every day. So they see us during service times. So the only, team, only time they see us is during service. So they don't know anything else about you. So take the opportunity to be cordial. Take the opportunity to be interactive with your congregation. Now, I don't know how much time I got, but I can go on and go on. <laughs> All right, uh, Are you there? Yes, I'm still here. Okay, how long do I have? Because I can go home. All right, another 15. Another 15 minutes? Yeah. Okay, when I get to uh, 10 minutes, I would like for somebody to, we can do a QA. and a Yeah. But I want to share a couple other things. Um, let's talk about decorum our behavior, our behavior in keeping with good taste and propriety. And I always like to use scripture as a um, foundation for what I teach 
because we do believe in the word of God and there's something in the word of God that will support everything that we share with the body. This is one of my favorite scriptures that um, that's in line with discerning. Be not deceived. Evil communication corrupt good manners. Be not deceived. Evil communication corrupt good manners. First Corinthians, the 15th chapter and the 33rd verse. Whenever there is something, uh, I, I'm going to use an example. When you're dealing with people and they're cordial with you and then all of a sudden there's a difference in their behavior, don't listen. Don't ignore the red flag. The scripture said, be not deceived. There has to be some evil communication to corrupt that good manner. Always know that. Today, what I want you to ask yourself this question. What do I value when it comes to the things of God? What do I value? Value means to regard that something is held to deserve the importance. What's important to you? What's worth to you? So in everything, do to others as you will have them do unto you. For the sums up the law. For this sums up the law and the prophets. We have to learn today is to value the things of God, and how do we value the things of God is by valuing the word of God and the principles thereby and valuing each other, your band, your singers. Learn to pull out the best out of what you have. Uh, I believe God has given me a gift to develop talent and gifts out of others. Um, I, I've worked with choirs and when I feel there to pick a person to lead a particular song, I don't lead songs, huh? No, you're going to lead this song. And God used them to really minister to the people. So I just wanted to share these few notes with you to encourage you to change your focus from entertainment to anointing. Let's learn how to seek God no matter what. We're living in a day and time where being anointed is not popular but entertaining is very popular. So don't let anyone discourage you when God is dealing with you about a certain sound, a certain style, and uh, listen, just know that God is on your side and he's with you. So be encouraged, God bless you.